I am Anil Kumar and here is a test paper, Chapter 5, Rational Functions, MHF4U, Advanced Functions, Grade 12. Now, we will discuss each and every question in this test paper. We will start with the very first one, which is, for each function, find the equation of any vertical, horizontal or oblique asymptotes and the location of holes. So, we are given three functions here f of x equals to x square minus 9 divided by x plus 3, g of x equals to x square plus 4 divided by x plus 1, and h of x equals to 3x square minus 2 divided by x square minus 2x minus 8. I'd like you to pause the video and answer this practice question for the test. Now let's do it. <clears throat> Vertical, horizontal or oblique asymptotes. When you look at the rational function, if the degree of numerator is higher than the denominator, we do not have horizontal asymptote. If the degree is one higher, we have oblique asymptote, right? Now, in this case, let us factor and check if we really have an oblique asymptote. So, when we factor, what do we get? x squared minus 9 gives us x plus 3 times x minus 3, and the denominator is x plus 3. Now x plus 3, x plus 3 cancel and so we get x minus 3, right? Remember we have a restriction here that is x is not equal to minus 3. That will make the denominator 0. So we have to write it here that x is not equal to minus 3, right? So when you simplify you actually get something without any remainder. That means there is no oblique asymptote, right? So, we cannot really conclude to the, we, we cannot really conclude to the decision that whenever the degree is one higher, we have an asymptote. Since the function is actually x minus 3, where x is not equal to minus 3. Now, what does that mean? It really means here that we have a hole at x equals to minus 3. So, the type of discontinuity here is a hole which is at x equals to minus 3. So whenever you have a common factor in numerator and denominator, that leads to whole. Now when that factor cancels out, and if you have no other factor in the denominator, we will not have any vertical asymptote, correct? Now in this case, we have only one discontinuity, that is x equals to minus 3, a whole at minus 3, the location of this point will be, if I substitute minus 3 here, I get minus 6. Do you understand? So therefore, the location which they are asking for, location of hole, we should write the coordinate point, the location of hole is minus 3, minus 6. Now I've seen most students not writing the coordinate point itself, and that's the reason why I have taken up this question, right? This is seemingly a simple question but most of the students lose marks here. Now the next one for us is g of x equals to x squared plus 4 divided by x plus 1. So numerator cannot be factored, right? x squared plus 4, x plus 1, they don't have any common factors. That means we have a vertical asymptote here, right? For denominator being 0, which will be at x equals to minus 1. So vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 1, that is one thing. Second thing which we should get here is an oblique asymptote, which we can get by dividing x squared plus 4 by x plus 1. So let's divide and find out. So we could use synthetic or, or long division. Let me use long division since some students have not learned synthetic division. So in that we write x squared plus fill in with the missing terms, which in this case is 0x, then plus 4, right? And we have to divide by x plus 1. So it can go x times, we get x squared plus x. When you take away, you get minus x plus 4, and then you multiply by minus 1. So you get minus x minus 1. Remainder here is 5, right? When you take away this. And therefore, I can write g of x as, okay, let me write it here itself, x minus 1, that is a quotient, 
and the remainder is 5 so we we'll say plus 5 over x plus 5 x plus 1 so that is how we can write correct so clearly we have an oblique asymptote and the equation of oblique asymptote is x minus 1 so we have oblique asymptote here let me write here and the equation is y equals to x minus 1 a linear oblique asymptote right so there are two there is one discontinuity that is the vertical asymptote at x equals to minus 1 and an oblique asymptote correct now let's look into the last one here which is h of x equals to 3x square minus 2 divided by x square minus 2x minus 8 so we can factor the denominator correct so in the numerator we have 3x square minus 2 in the denominator we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 8 and sum is minus 2 so 4 and 2 can work for us so x minus 4 times x plus 2 so these are the numbers now we do not have any common factor between numerator and denominator and so we have two vertical asymptotes so we have vertical asymptotes here first one is at x equals to 4 the other one is at x equals to minus 2 what you also notice is that the degree of numerator and denominator is same so we have horizontal asymptote in this case and the equation is the ratio of the leading coefficients over just 3 and 1 so here the horizontal asymptote is at y equals to 3 right so that is how we can answer this question it's a very good question gives you beginning or starting of rational functions every rational function will have restrictions when denominator is zero and those restrictions could be because of vertical asymptote or whole right plus the end behavior is decided by oblique or horizontal asymptotes at times and this is a way we can actually analyze these functions for asymptotes and holes. Thank you.